just wanted to take a minute and talk about uh, going to Luminaria the other night. We had such a nice time. Um, I don't know, Carl, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? It was uh, it was amazing. It's definitely worth, uh, it's a must see if you come to Park City in the winter time. You could be larger than life. My understanding is in the spring, the entire area is covered in tulips. It's supposed to be beautiful. Yeah, they do a tulip festival. They bring them in, they import yeah. them. There's people from all over the world that bring their award-winning tulips in, and it's just, just uh, apparently just a carpet of tulips all over this hillside. So we were uh, with family, and uh, I knew that the uh, distance, the walking distance around the Luminaria event was probably long because you could rent strollers and scooters and wheelchairs but nowhere and i watched some youtube videos and everything nowhere did they tell us how long of a walk or how intense the walk was or or any of that kind of stuff right so if you saw one of our last episodes um you know we hike now so <laughs> we're counting that as a hike so take a minute and enjoy and take in the uh, Luminaria. It's outdoors at night, it was really cold. Uh, make sure you guys all bundle up and wear your walking shoes. But um, it's really cool. Uh, it took probably about um, two hours we were there, uh, roughly, to, to walk it and see everything. Uh, and see everything that there was to see. That was uh, Coco bumping my camera. Coco, what are you doing? Say hello to everybody. There's my girl. Here's my Coco girl. Yeah. And Bentley. <laughs> I'm getting upstaged by the dogs. Anyway, you guys, um, yeah, Luminaria, it's uh, the whole uh, hillside was covered in uh, these Luminaria candles that are lit with LEDs. And then the whole thing is set to music and, and the lights all move to the music and everything. And so that was really cool. And uh, so also at Thanksgiving point, so check it out once again. Uh, nighttime, and I think it goes all the way through the holidays. Um, I don't think it starts until October, uh, but and then my understanding is that they have other things during the year at Thanksgiving Point, like I guess there's a whole tulip festival in the spring and uh, all kinds of uh, lovely stuff to do. So enjoy, you guys. Hi, guys. So we're at Thanksgiving Point seeing the Luminaria. I hope you guys can see it. Look.
point was so much fun. We really enjoyed it. Um, and I think you guys will too. I think you're gonna see, um, it's a lovely place to go if you guys head to Park City. It's definitely something that you, you should consider. Um, they have five different museums and one of them, oh, was the only one that we got an opportunity to go to and that was the butterfly biosphere well, we got an opportunity to go with carl's uh, sister and brother-in-law and uh, one of the things that uh, we enjoyed uh, doing with them because their daughter sherry who passed away a few years ago um, we celebrate her in butterflies and it was her birthday and so it was just a great opportunity to to be there with them and and celebrate Sherry's life that way. So it was fun. We got some some beautiful uh, uh, scenery, I think, of the butterflies and how cool it is. And if you get a chance, you should go. Very uh, good for kids. It's got a lot of uh, interactive, um, there's bugs and there's other things besides butterflies. And uh, it was really fun, but plenty of stuff for adults to enjoy too. So yeah, take that opportunity and, and go see the butterfly biosphere if you guys get a chance. My name is Lily. So caterpillars will, um, when they turn in, into the chrysalis, they go through a very interesting process where they will actually kind of digest themselves. And this, this big guy right here just came out of a chrysalis and is getting ready to take flight some, at some point, right? I expect that one came out a while ago because it's not actually hanging from one of its chrysalises. Okay. Uh, I only know like two of the different ones that it looks like but that's an owl butterfly and it will have come out from down there okay so it either climbed up there or it's already tried to figure out flying are they alive those two big ones the two big ones are moths so they are alive um but because they are moths they are sleeping oh do moths sleep a lot <laughs> they do whenever it's bright oh okay okay and so each color of chrysalis represents a different breed of butterfly is that correct yep you can see the different types are also marked apart by those tags. The tags to have their, the date that we got them and the species so that we know when we can expect them to come out. Wow, and then you do a release Monday through Friday at 11 and five, correct? Yep, that's you... a very special release that we do. Um, it's where people can buy tickets to release a butterfly of their own. Oh. They get a talk on the butterflies, um a little card with their butterfly's name on it and a little information about it it's a very cool experience especially for like little kids or couples right and how long has the biosphere been in, in action um in existence i'd say about two years i've only worked here for one year wow but it was active for a year before that so i'm gonna say two years it is the newest part of thanksgiving point wow it's gorgeous it's wonderful work you guys do it's cool Yep. Thank you for being on camera with us. Of course. You guys i can't tell you how much it means to us that you are with us and you're following our journey and we're just having such a blast uh sharing everything that we're doing with you guys um i really hope if you have any questions uh please don't forget to leave them down in the comment section uh if there's anything that you can think of advice we're always open to advice as well uh, but uh please like 
That means hit the little thumbs up button and subscribe so that you always get notified when we upload a new video and share. Share our videos and we might get more subscribers and more people to join the channel and uh, take this journey with us. So thanks so much, you guys. Also, wanted to make sure and let you know, we're getting ready to start our season two. I can't believe it's been a whole year already, but um, yeah, January, January is gonna be a year. So we're gonna start season two. Not sure what that looks like yet, except I do know that um, we are getting ready to take a whole two weeks in our RV and we're driving back to Kansas City to see our boys. Um, makes a mama, a mama's heart go good because I just can't wait to see them. I I just, I miss them so much and I don't get to see them enough. And um, we don't usually get uh, two weeks of vacation time, but we're gonna take you guys along and we're gonna see if we can show you some sights of Kansas City. We're gonna play tourist. Uh, Carl and I both grew up there and met there in high school and college. And um, yeah, so uh, so we'll we'll share it with you and uh, you guys can join along in some of the, the fun. And um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, and thanks you guys for being here. Bye-bye.